All right, now we need an equation that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this line. Okay, not parallel, not the same slope, perpendicular, negative reciprocals. So we're going to take our slope here, which was one half. Let's make that a perpendicular slope. So we're going to add a negative onto it and flip our fraction. So our m is now negative 2 over 1. And we have a point, so we're going to use point-slope form. Okay, plug it into point-slope form. y minus our y-coordinate, which is 1, equals our negative reciprocal slope, which is negative 2 over 1, x minus our x-coordinate, negative 3. Okay, we're going to get this into slope-intercept form. So we need to distribute, and we have y minus 1 equals negative 2x, or negative 2 over 1x. And now we have a negative times a positive, so we have minus 6. Okay, let's go ahead and add our 1 now to get it in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 2x minus 5. So two, negative 2 or negative 2 over 1, either way, they're the exact same. We have our negative reciprocal slope. All right, last thing here. We have a little word problem, a little application. We have the position of a helicopter search and rescue crew is shown in this graph. It says the shortest flight is one that's perpendicular, so we need negative reciprocal slopes. We need an equation. Okay, so our first step, we need to find the slope of the shoreline. So we're going to pick out two points on the shoreline. Okay, we know that this line crosses at the point 1, 3, and also at that point 4, 1. Now you can use any points that lie on an exact coordinate. Okay, but we need to find the slope. So if we find the slope using, like we said, 1, 3, and 4, 1. Okay, again, we've done this a bunch. Let's find the slope. Y, or 1 minus 3 over 4 minus 1. Keep change, change. We have a negative 2 over 3. That's our slope. Now remember, we need a perpendicular slope, though, so we need the negative reciprocal. Okay, so what we actually need to do is flip that fraction and change the sign. So it was a negative 2 over 3. Now it's a positive 3 over 2. That's our slope. Now, the point they give us on our helicopter path line is 14.4. So we have a slope, we have a point, let's use point-slope form. So we have y minus our y-coordinate, which is 4, equals our slope, our negative reciprocal slope, and then x minus 14. Okay, we know you need to distribute to get it in slope-intercept form. We have a fraction, y minus 4 equals 3 halves x. Now, I'll just do the fraction real quick for us here. This is actually a minus 21 is what we end up getting. Add 4. Add 4. So our final equation is y equals 3 halves x minus 17. And that is our perpendicular equation. Okay, so that's the shortest way that we can get this search and rescue crew there.